Good morning, good morning. It is 9-12 and we have just got our morning started. Um, we are eating um, breakfast and you can see I'm still in my PJs. PJs. Um, and um, we're getting we're gonna get started right after breakfast on homeschool. So, if you are interested in just um, a daily Tuesday for us, we do do different subjects each day, and I will show you. Here they are. Say good morning. Good morning. Eating our breakfast. Eating our breakfast <laughs> today. Good morning. We are doing our daily notebooks. Madison is almost over their first page, and Ashlyn is over here trying to figure out where 13 is. Find 13. I don't know where it is. Well, where's 12? Find 12. I don't know. Find 12. Where's 12 on the second row? There it is. Circle it. Yay! Are we taking the video? So here is Addison's second page of her daily notebook. Um, she already erased that part, but you're you're basically supposed to just kind of draw what what you would wear today, according to the temperature. We did the time. We figured out what time it was, and then we set our little wooden clock here um, to the time, which it was 9:29. We set it, and then she copied it from that wooden clock and then also did the digital time there and then we did the temperature over here um and now we're moving on to our name page hey ashlyn how do you spell your name tell me a s h h l y n n very good you go ahead addison you do your your a d this is our name. She's she's traced her name, but Addison is actually writing her own. She does every month. Uh oh. Oh, that's uh -huh. get your eraser. Do it one more time. How do you spell it? A D Y S O N. Good. Good job. So we have moved on from daily notebook to our free handwriting, uh, our free writing, um, and we just do words at this point. We don't do. Hand me your pen, please. Um. And we have decided today is going to be um, dinosaur. So I'm just going to write it up here. And then Addison will write it down here. Same thing over here with Ashlyn. She'll try um, and copy me. So that's how we do our free writing. And sometimes we do it on paper. But most of the time if we're in a little bit of not a really a rush. But trying to get through our school day. I just do it here. It's easier. And here is our finished product. That's Addison's, and then this is Ashlyn's. It's with help of Mama, she didn't do that all on her own, but I did kind of guide her in um, making the correct letters. But she she did do the strokes. I just kind of helped control the pencil so it wouldn't go haywire. But um, there's our free ride. Also wanted to explain to you that the. Uh, the kids will then after free riding I let them if it's like an you know like an object like a dinosaur or you know whatever it is I let them draw that so that they can kind of envision visualize it in their mind and learn the word fully so that you know that kind of helps with the learning process so I just wanted to add that to you. Cloudy for you mama. Yeah put it up on the weather. So we figured out today yesterday tomorrow and also we are putting up the weather today so those are our two charts, and then this is our calendar um, for today. So we're doing calendar time. Moving on to sight words. Moving on to our sight words. Let's see here. Go ahead. Uh, white, mm -hmm. black, brown, yellow, purple, orange, red. Gray, blue, pink, green. Good. Now we're gonna do. Ooh, that was really sight fast. Sight words, yeah. Well, because you know them. And. And. So. Mm -hmm. Is. Is. 
C. C. On. Mm -hmm. V. V. Or. Mm -hmm. U. U. We. We. Two. Two. My. My. It. It. Oh. <laughs> Her. No, try again. Your. What is it? Your. Your. And here is our math. We've moved on to math from our sight words. And uh, we don't do the this subjects in any particular order, but this math. is a math test, isn't it, Addison? I'm gonna do a math test. Um, my toddler's over here, she's gonna participate in this. She didn't in sight words because she wasn't having a great day, but we, we're getting through. But anyway, we're gonna do our math test. So, good morning. We are back. We are trying to find pink. Did you find it? Right here? Right there it is. So we are trying to find words that we can um, write and spell. So write that up in your name. It's good, Ashlyn. Where are you going? Put it right there. All right. Uh, and they're going to write the character's name. We've read the story um, Pinkalicious and Planet Pink for our character study today. So they are, they are writing, writing it in there. And we'll, we'll show you after we're done a little bit more. Hello guys, so we're done with our character study for the day. We did the, as I said, Pinkalicious. And then there's my little internal character chart that we kind of refer a little bit to. Um, this is my oldest, Addison's. She, uh, we, you know, basically looked at what she looked like. We drew her over here. That's the planet and then that's her. She kind of drew her in pieces. Um, but yeah, she, um, everything's pink, of course, but you know, she's, all this is written by her. This is all her handwriting. So we did bows, she's had a dress on, and she had the color white on, um, since we already did pink, short for Pinkalicious up here. And then this is our internal trait, so she did curious, funny, and excited in the story. Um, but as, as we are getting done, we are having disagreements with each other of course but yeah that that is our that is our homeschool day now we are over here playing blocks um she's been playing blocks for a little while she is here is her pinkalicious character study um she she did this is all her pink and then we i kind of helped her here bows and then curious and then this is her pinkalicious pink um but yeah, she's over here playing. But Addison is over here reading the magic school bus, kind of settling in. But they do various activities. Hi guys, we are now, we've moved on to pretend play and blocks and now we have moved on to our tablets. So this is still, about lunchtime, we're getting ready to cook some lunch, but just wanted to give you a little um, more insight to our day in homeschooling and how laid back I am as far as once they get done, um, but also encouraging them to continue learning. All of these, th these are um, in a tab, um, three tablets, and that is an, a baby in a tab, two or three, I believe, that Addison, my oldest, is holding. Um, but they all have, every single game is educational, and um, it, it teaches them in every single application they are in. So it's kind of like the LeapFrog tablet, but it isn't in a tab. So um, just wanted to show you a little bit more on the fact our TV is not on, and it stays off until after our quiet time. So, um, and today is actually Lego Day at the library, so we are... Uh, we're not even going to be here this afternoon, so um, they're excited, but um, we won't have any TV today, so we don't watch TV very often at all. <laughs> tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them goodbye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you next time. See you next time. Hi. I still need coffee. Uh, they do basically various activities after they're done with their official um, 
Hey, baby. After their official homeschool day has ended, they continue to do whatever they want to to continue with the homeschool stuff. But um, that's what I require them to do during the day. And then whatever they want to do after that is kind of up to them. So it's kind of like a self uh, learning sort of thing. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our Tuesday. Um, so we did the daily notebook, the math. Um, we had a math test today over graphs. Um, and we did free writing, um, uh, some, a character study and, um, what was the, other? um, sight words. That's the other one. Um, but that's it. That's our Tuesdays. And, it's 10:56, so we got it done within about an hour and a half, two hours, and then now they're gonna continue, you know, the rest of the time before we have lunch, um, continue to do whatever they want on their own, and I'm here to help. But typically, it's kind of just independent kind of things that they do. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, our kind of day, a day in a life homeschool on Tuesday. I will try on next week. Um, to do one day, you know, like a Monday, so you can kind of get a taste of what we do on Mondays, and then, you know, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, um, but um, I may do Wednesday this week, because Wednesdays are their short days, and they would be really, really easy to film, but hope you enjoyed. If you want to continue following our journey, subscribe, like, give a thumbs up, um, and share, of course, with your friends if you have any other homeschooling friends. Or, of course, uh, you know, following our journey on um, moving into a tiny um, house, a camper, and then building a tiny, an actual tiny house. But our tiny house for now would be our camper. Um, but anyway, if you're interested, just do that. And I will talk to you guys later in a new vlog.